It's good to be here in traditional Anishinaabe Waki in Three Fires territory on land that is part of the 1842 Treaty of the Point. Um, much of the work that I made at, for the exhibition that's here on campus uh, responds to that specific uh, uh, year, uh, ma making a series of cyanotypes, uh, a series of photographs that, that as a process was also develop developed in the same year. Um, so it's good to be here. Uh, of course, we're, we're closest to KVIC, Kiwanabe Indian Community. Um, we're in a state that has 12 federally recognized tribes as well as four historic tribes. Um, and here you're, you're, you're near the Wisconsin border and with uh, near the Canadian border here in the Great Lakes watershed. Um, in addition to that, I usually introduce myself, uh, I'm a Métis guy, so my family were uh, a part of the mixed community that was here in the Great Lakes and west, uh, westward into the Canadian prairies. I usually introduce myself in, in Michif, which is one of our languages, as, as well as Mishinabe Mwin. So, Tanishikiwa, Nimuyu Yandishinikashun Dylan Minor, Nimushum Tepwash Michif. Tepwash Otabemisiwa, Jipanatan Benadangashin, Botagani Minis, Slave Lake, Red River, Dulizanfant, the Yawawak. Basically, what I said is I said where, what communities my family comes from and who my family was. Ani Buju, Dylan Minor, Indigenous Kaj Joganashimwin, Nishnabi Waki, Indonjaba, Nikwe Jonginda. I live in East Lansing. I teach at Michigan State, as Emily said. Um, and as I talk through some of my projects and some of my artwork, uh, I will talk a little bit about the way that this history influences uh, the work I make. Um, as an artist and as a scholar, I have multiple bodies of work that kind of are interwoven together. Some of them, much of the work is quite, uh, as we would say, agitprop. That means it's agitational propaganda in that it's pushing us in, 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 in radical political trajectories and gestures, responding to the settler colonial institutions we are in, uh, thinking about in, being in a place with line five. Um, I do a lot of work that, uh, that is anti-extraction. Um, so in a variety of different ways. This is an image I initially made uh, during uh, the resistance at Standing Rock, during the Dakota Access Pipeline uh, responses, uh, res kind of linking up issues uh, out there with those here in the Great Lakes watershed, thinking about Line 5 in particular. However, with the, the recent moves by um, people's uh, governor um, to actually create a tunnel underneath the bedrock of, of the, the Straits of Maakana to put a, uh, a new version of Line 5, I've updated it so you should just say no pipelines in the Great Lakes, but now says no pipelines under the Great Lakes. 